Here's a Samsung Galaxy S6 tip for you. I'm going to show you how to customize the lock screen. Now in previous devices on our lock screen, I'll go ahead and lock my device. I used to be able to add in app icons down at the bottom so I can quickly launch apps, but that's no more. So there's going to be really limited customization to the lock screen, but there are some things that you might find useful. So we're going to go ahead and open up our settings. We're going to swipe down from the top, come into the settings, and we have lock screen and security. Now being the S6 has a built-in fingerprint scanner, you'll notice in the security option that I can add in fingerprints. This is going to be handy when I come into the screen lock type up at the top. I can choose from swipe, pattern, pin, password, fingerprints, or none. Now swipe is the default one that I'm using and I've got that set up. So if I lock my device and I choose swipe, it's just going to swipe to open. Now I'm going to come in here, let's choose a pattern. What I do is now I draw a pattern to actually unlock my device. We'll set up a backup pin. We'll take and show notifications. We can hide the content, which will still show a notification, but hide the text. And do not show notifications. We'll show noto no notifications on the lock screen. So now we have that set up. Let's come to the lock screen. And now when I try and unlock it, I have to enter in this pattern. So that's how I can choose my lock screen security there. Then I have, we'll go ahead and come back in here. I have to enter in my pattern and I can choose a pin. So on this one, whenever I try to unlock my device, it's going to ask me to display this pin. And notice that whenever I set up a actual password for my lock screen, it's always going to ask me about my notifications. So now if I lock my device, I have to enter in that pin that I just set up. Now we'll come back in here. And I'm going to go ahead and put it back to swipe. We covered the fingerprint in another video, so make sure and check that video out and how to actually add fingerprints into your device and use that as a lock screen replacement. So we have show info here on the information. We can choose to do a dual clock. This is going to be useful if you find yourself traveling a lot. It'll show the clock for your default location, which is usually your hometown, and the location that you're currently at. So if you were traveling, say, to London, on your lock screen, you would see the actual time for your city and then the time for London. We can also choose our weather information, set some weather um, options in here, such as Fahrenheit, how to refresh using our current location, and then we can show the weather information on the lock screen and inside of the calendar. So that's really useful out there on the lock screen. And then the owner, owner information, we can set this up. We can enter in some text. So that way, whenever we're on the lock screen, I'll just go ahead and enter my name in here. We'll tap OK. And now if I lock my device, Notice in the home screen below the clock and date, you see my name. So that's the owner information that you set up there. We'll go ahead and come back in. Let's go ahead and remove that information here. We'll go ahead and remove the text and we'll tap OK. Now there are some other options on here on our lock screen. We have device security, which is going to give us some security options. Finding our device, we can remotely find our device. And then there's just security options down at the bottom. But the main area for the lock screen is going to be up here at the top. Now as an added option, for the lock screen, if we come to our home screen, tap and hold, and come into the wallpaper section, tap on home screen in the top left hand corner, drop it down to lock screen. Here we can change the wallpaper for our lock screen. So now I can choose this one, set the wallpaper, and now if we come to our lock screen, you notice that the wallpaper has been changed. So that's about all the customizations that you're going to get for your lock screen. Your phone is now here in the bottom left hand corner so you can quickly launch the dialer. And then in the bottom right hand corner we can quickly launch our camera by swiping up. So there's not really many other options for the lock screen except what we've gone over. So that is how you're going to come into your Samsung Galaxy S6 and customize your lock screen.